Good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 2nd, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today. And today, we're going to be talking about the extreme weather heading across Alberta and the prairies in Canada. We had a few funnel cloud warnings yesterday with these extreme supercells and thunderstorms popping up all over Calgary and Alberta over the last few days due to the humid weather. Here's a quick look at our sun over the last 24 hours. Have an incoming sunspot on the left hand side there. You can see the umbrage starting to fill out. And a small coronal hole developing in the middle. So watch an increase in the solar wind stream over the next 48 hours. And across North America, we're still looking at these large fires in California. And here we are looking at NASA Worldview. We're just going to look at our satellite images over California and Washington as these fires are out of control. We've also got fires in BC. Overnight, we had another 100 fires sparked due to the thunderstorms heading across the Rocky Mountains throughout BC. You can see here. But there is a rain coming, so hopefully it uh, moistens up a little bit. So yes, still extreme heat across Canada, right up into northern parts of Newfoundland and Quebec. Flood warnings all across the eastern and southeastern seaboard of the United States, Alabama, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and I've been warning about this for the last few updates as that high pressure, low pressure convergence. And here we're looking at Tropical Storm Hector heading out into the open ocean, and of course, Tropical Depression, Zhongdari is still alive and heading into China right now. Beelining for Shanghai. Now all across Malaysia and East Indies and the West Indies, a lot of flood warnings. Thunderstorms, torrential downpours. And yesterday we had a 5.1 earthquake in Japan, uh, sorry, China. Across Europe, same thing, extreme heat, right from France to Estonia and the Baltic Sea. Fires in Sweden. Crazy world we're living in, folks. Stay aware and prepared. Look at all these alerts all across the world. And let's look at our five day forecast brought to you by Medio Earth and Medio Mike. You can see the track here of Zhongdari and also another tropical depression forming behind that. So Zhongdari is set to hit Shanghai today and then head north, northeast, back into the Pacific Ocean in the coming days. You can see there it gets on to land and then forced north. And Indonesia, Micronesia, still monsoon rains, flooding conditions west of Cebu. You can see here that track of Zhongdari heading north, northeast, across Japan again. So Zhongdari taking a round three at Japan. All across North America, extreme heat and cold fronts moving in from the north, sparking a lot of thunderstorms, widespread rain from west to the east. Still have that strong convergence on the southeastern seaboard of the United States. An extreme heat in the Midwestern United States where all those fires are. And 
That's the tropical storm heading out into open ocean. No harm to humanity. Still very quiet Atlantic storm season. Very large low pressure system heading across Argentina. Watch for a lot of snow in these regions in the southern tip of South America. Is that large low pressure systems heading over the peninsula and over Volcano Michael. Africa, still very hot. Europe, very hot. Flooding in France. Extreme rain heading into Poland. And over India. Australia, southeastern Australia, still dealing with wave after wave of these low pressure systems that are heading across the southern hemisphere. Very strong, high velocity storms. Massive. I mean, look at the size of these things. Wow. Now we're going to look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes from around the world. A deep earthquake in Papua New Guinea. Another deep earthquake in Japan, northern Tokyo. Small shallow earthquakes, California. But here, yeah. Uh, Kirisk Rushka, that was a 5.1, that was a pretty deep, another 5.1 in China yesterday, and in Papua New Guinea, 158 kilometer depth, so watch for a larger shallow earthquake in the next 12 hours, South America still getting minor rumbles in Chile, and also Argentina very deep earthquake 213 kilometer depth but I'm gonna leave you here with the earthquakes from around the world thanks for watching today this has been Mike with morning Dew daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning Dew. thanks for watching bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.